Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Xcode on your Mac machine. So let's get started. So first thing you need to do is you need to open your App Store. So just click this icon for the App Store. And once the App Store is open, just search for Xcode here. So I'm going to search for Xcode. And the first result here I can see is for the Xcode tool. So I'm going to just click uh, on the Xcode here. And here you will uh, see more description about the Xcode. So you can see the latest version or at the time of making this video is 8.3.3. And some uh, description is also given about Xcode here. And when you scroll down, you will be able to see some screenshot about the Xcode. Okay. So now before installing Xcode, you need to have Apple ID uh, for you to in order to, uh, you know, install Xcode. So if you don't have your Apple ID, then you can create one by going to this website. I'm going to open my browser and here you can see the website you just need to go to is uh, developer.apple.com. So you just need to open developer dot apple.com and on the top you can see some tabs here you just need to uh, click on this tab which says account so just click on this account tab and you just need to click create apple id if you don't have any id and if you already have id you can sign in with your apple id okay so let's see when i click the create apple id a button let's see what happens so you can see uh, it will give you this kind of uh, form and you just need to give your uh, first name and last name and then the country and the date of birth and your uh, email id and password and some security questions you just need to answer and then your apple id will be created and then you can sign in with your Apple ID. And once you are logged into this developer.apple.com with your Apple ID, you will be able to see this kind of interface here, right? And in the download section, just click the downloads uh, uh, section here. And you can see the latest table version uh, right now is 8.3.3, which is also shown in the App Store, right? Uh, there is also a latest version for the beta version which is version 9 but we are going to install this 8.3.3 version right so i just wanted to show you this so now i'm going to just minimize my browser and i will go to the app store once again and here i just need to click this button which says get and once i click get then I can see this option which says install app. So I'm going to just click install app. And once uh, I click install app, uh, it will ask me to give my Apple ID and password. So here you just need to give your Apple ID which you have just created. And then you just need to give your password. So I'm going to give my password here. And once you give your uh, Apple ID and password, you will be able to see this installation is started right so first of all the xcode will be downloaded onto your mac and then it will be installed so when you see on this launch pad you will see that uh, this uh, xcode file is about 4.5 for gb so it's a big file so it will need some time to download so just wait for this download to complete and then it will start installing and when i just uh, launch the launch pad you will be able to see this uh, downloading process here right so right now uh, 46 mb is downloaded out of 4.54 gb so i'm going to pause the video and once it's uh, downloaded it's going to start installing automatically so you don't need to do anything so just leave it as it is and i will see you after some time uh, after waiting for the download to complete uh, i waited around one or two hours for the download to complete i can see uh, that the installation process has been automatically started 
and it will take some time to finish the installation process so i will wait for the installation process to complete also so now i can see that the installation of xcode has been completed and when i uh, see in the launch pad so when i click this icon for the launch pad i can see that xcode icon is there so i can open the xcode from uh, the launch pad i am going to just double click on this uh, icon for the xcode and then it's going to start the xcode and for the first time when xcode starts you need to agree with the license terms and conditions so if you want you can read all this uh, these terms and conditions and if you agree with these terms and condition you just need to click agree and then you just need to give your max password so i'm going to give my max password and then it's going to start installing the components of xcode so i just need to once again uh, wait for some time until these components has been installed so you can see the process is uh, much faster than the installation process so i just need to wait for a few seconds and then it will be done so now xcode has been started and uh, i can see this kind of uh, window here and now i can uh, create any of the application which xcode can create out of here so you can see uh, create a new xcode project check out existing projects and get started with the playground so for example i need to create a xcode project i can just click here which is uh, create a new xcode project and i can see this kind of uh, interface here and then it's going to ask me uh, which kind of uh, template i want for ios or watch os or tv os or mac os or cross platform application whatever i want i can make from here right so this is how you can uh, download and install xcode on your mac machine i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment and subscribe and bye for now